Once again, I'm attending the annual Integrative Healthcare Symposium at the Hilton Hotel, and I look forward to talking with some of the top holistic practitioners in the area of nutrition and meditation and psychiatry, and I want to share all that with you on my show, Holistic Healing. I'm talking with Dr. Hyla Kass, who is a world-renowned psychiatrist with a very integrative approach. Dr. Hyla Kass, thanks for coming to talk to me today. It's a pleasure. Okay. So you've written many books. Yes. I have one in my hand right here. Can you yes, tell me about this book? Yes, Eight Weeks Vibrant Health. This is basically what I do in my practice, mm -hmm. which is I do a questionnaire where I ask women. It's mostly women, but I see men as well, and mm -hmm. this questionnaire works for men just as well as for women. All kinds of questions, like do you tend to feel cold, do you tend to feel warm, do you have what kind of digestive problems, what kind of mood shifts do you have, and I ask very specific questions. Mm -hmm. And by the time you finish reading the questionnaire, you actually know what area you need to focus on. Mm -hmm. And so it, people don't necessarily have to come to me to figure out what's wrong with them. They right. may need to come to me or to another practitioner in order to get a solution. Mm -hmm. But there's so much that people can do on their own and that's really what I want to do. Because I, I'm just, it, it doesn't work mm -hmm. for people to go to a doctor and get a prescription right. after talking for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And I can't even blame the doctors, they're really busy. But to get a prescription for something that's very powerful like an SSRI or right, an antipsychotic right, right. With, without really finding out what's wrong with somebody is, I think it's not good health practice, not no. good medical practice. And so I'm empowering women to find out what's going on with them, what are the imbalances, and what they can do to make a difference in their own health. And you know, it's not even that difficult. So how do you think psychiatrists in general, mainstream psychiatrists, are failing their patients every single day? They're handing out prescriptions. They're not listening, and they don't know. See, they don't know what they don't know. Mm -hmm. And the truth is that good psychiatry is basically good medicine. Because so often what's going on is there could be an iron deficiency anemia. It can be a B12 deficiency. Mm -hmm. I've seen people that looked really like totally demented, couldn't remember anything, were being put in a home when they were given B12, vitamin B12 by injection, all of a sudden they got well. Mm -hmm. They got the faculties back. Now that's, that's amazing, but that's just good medicine. Or a thyroid problem. If you have low thyroid, you're gonna feel really depressed and low energy. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the first thing, the, even your general practitioner says, oh, you're depressed here, take a prescription, right, dear. Right. dear. <laughs> and what I say is, let's look at all of your hormones, let's look at your thyroid, let's mm -hmm. look at your adrenals, mm -hmm. and people don't even know what their thyroid and adrenals are, but this, in, in eight weeks to vibrant health, I really, really explain what it is. What's your thyroid, what are your adrenals, and how to figure out if you have a deficit there, and what you can do about it. You know, it's not, it's not just what, what to do when you go to the doctor, but it gives you language for talking mm -hmm. to a doctor, but also what you can do at home, how you can change your diet, what supplements to Absolutely. take. Absolutely, like omega-3 fatty acids, which is something right. I encourage my clients all the time, because 85% of Americans are deficient in omega-3s. Mm -hmm. So would you ask them, I'll ask my clients, how often do you eat fatty fish in the course of a week? Is exactly. It, that's one good question, too. Yes. How about exercise, of course? Exercise yeah. is equivalent to SSRIs. Absolutely. And besides that, there are all kinds of health benefits. You know, you take an SSRI, serotonin reuptake inhibitor, Prozac, Zoloft, whatever, and you have side effects. Mm -hmm. You know, low libido, stomach aches, headaches, poor sleep, um, loss of libido, uh, and actually even worse, very worse problems. As opposed to taking an omega-3 fatty acid, eating fatty fish, right. what are the side benefits? You get heart benefits, your sure. skin gets smoother, mm -hmm. your hormones increase. Right, right. I mean, you get, it, it, there's just no comparison. So it's not even, well, what's better in SSRI or omega-3? Right. There's no comparison. It's, it also depends on what is the deficit in you and the particular individual. You find the roller coaster where you have patients that are sleep deprived and they're consuming too much coffee, then they're drinking alcohol at night so they could relax mm -hmm. further hurting their sleep quality, you, you find that a lot? I hope not, yeah. <laughs> but we do, it, it's out there of course. And the, the problem with that is that it puts your adrenals on a roller coaster that your poor body doesn't know what to do. And you know what's really wonderful is that when you feed your body the right way, you know, with really good food, preferably organic food, good water, a lot of veggies, it, it's an amazing thing. Your body says, thank you. Right. And the reward is good health and a lot of your symptoms are just gonna go away. You know, people who have all these aches and pains and they're taking all kinds of drugs for their aches and pains, 
what do they do? They go off their inflammatory foods. Mm -hmm. The aches and pains go away. Right, right. And not only that, if they're also taking fish oil for their aches and pains because it's anti-inflammatory, mm -hmm. their brain gets better, exactly. their depression gets better. So, like, what would you rather do? I mean, it's a, a no-brainer. Of course. Tell me about your addiction book. What's the title of that? What's the book about? The Addicted Brain and How to Break Free. And I'm very proud of it because people, again, are addicted to all kinds of things. Alcohol, food, cocaine, heroin, meth. Sugar. Sugar. Yeah. And I included that in the food department. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Carbs. Right. And they're also addicted to, unfortunately, the prescribed medications. It's called an iatrogenic or doctor-caused addiction. And it's so hard to get people off of these meds. They want to get off. Right. But trying to get off, they have terrible side effects. So what I tell them, and what I say in my, my book, The Addicted Brain, is I explain how you can use very specific foods and supplements to restore your brain chemistry so that you can withdraw from these drugs really with, with far less discomfort. Do you think the addiction treatment centers in this country are really touching on this? Or do they even care? No, they, they don't. And I, that's really sad. There are a few of them around. I'm asked all the time. People mm. are emailing me all, right. all the time. Do you have a holistic addiction treatment center? Well, some of them are holistic and they do yoga and they do meditation. Those are good. I love yoga and meditation. Absolutely. But that's not about the brain chemistry. And in terms of doing something for brain chemistry, I don't see so much of that. Mostly people are taken off of their medications or off of their drugs of abuse with other medications. Like, Absolutely. hey, drugs for drugs? I don't think so. And the truth is we can do some miracles with amino acids. You know, I have some products, my brain recovery, AM and PM. I've put people on that when they're withdrawing from whatever it is, from drugs, from meds, from illicit drugs, abuse drugs, whatever it is, sugar, and it's such a smoother ride. So much better. Oh, yes. And add some fish oil to that, and it's like night and day. And they don't have to be in an addiction treatment center, except, of course, for the, for the, for the therapy. And that can be done as an outpatient, too, or, or as an inpatient, but to put someone on drugs as an inpatient and then try to do therapy is another issue. If, if you've ever been in an addiction treatment center and you see people in the first week or two mm -hmm. and they're trying to detox off drugs or meds mm -hmm. and they are just like out of it because they're on other drugs, they're on meds, they're on prescriptions. It's ridiculous. You take people that I'm treating mm -hmm. with supplements and right. good food and night and day. They are, they're feeling good, they're feeling happy. We also have intravenous treatments that are very successful. They're a little more costly but when you really balance it against what it costs to be in a 30-day program, it's actually a bargain because you can do it in three to 10 days and they're off it and they're happy. So thank you so much for talking with me today. Really well, a pleasure. It. And my website is cassmd.com, C-A-S-S-M-D.com. We can get more information and sign up for my newsletter. Thank you again.